So Henry and I decided to go to Valdez to go fishing. Henry's a friend of mine, we work together up in the North Slopes and we're taking our van and the boat down to Valdez. Valdez is about 300 miles from the house, about five hour trip. We're gonna stay at a KOA campground and it was a nice cabin, two beds, it was burnt out perfect. So this is the first day, it's like four, 4.35 o'clock in the afternoon. We don't know what we're doing. We're just popping down here and trying to catch fish. Now, as you can see, the water's calm. It's beautiful, sunny day. Wind's blowing, I don't know, maybe 10, 10 knots. And it's just a really, really nice day. So we're gonna keep on putting out. We're in the harbor here, and it's a no wake zone, of course, because you have all the boats. And we're about to pop out onto the ocean. So now here we are popping out on the ocean, and it's a little rough. And the further we get out, the rougher it gets. And to the point, we said, eh, I think we're making a bad decision here. So we ended up pulling back around, coming back in, because it was just beating us to death. It was, yeah, a little, little sketchy. So we get back in. We're gonna put the boat up, call it a day, go, go get some dinner. This is the next morning, and winds are perfectly calm. Now, I don't know a lot about boating, but I'll tell you, I'd rather be out on calm days than when it's not. As you can see, I've got my safety glasses on and my life vest because safety matters. That's what they've taught us at work, safety matters, so we I'm take it home with us. See, this is the same water we were in the afternoon before and how calm it is. Wide open, heading out to the fishing spot. So we didn't know where we were going. We just took off. We got to the first cove, we turned around and went into the first cove. And I bought these two downriggers. I saw the video before where I put the downriggers on. And it was a long curve, we figured them out. We got out and started using the downriggers and just kind of lightly trolling. The scenery is unbelievable. If you ever get a chance to go to Valdez, go. That it is absolutely gorgeous. You're surrounded by the mountains. We're just basically just trolling along, looking at the scenery. And this is more of a um, scenery tour, and we would say a fishing trip, but it was more of a scenery tour because it was quite beautiful. Well, we were putting along, and all of a sudden my pole slammed up, and by goodness, we caught one. Now, I, we both took a picture with the fish because it was the only one we caught. I felt like Forrest Gump and Lieutenant Dan. I, we only caught one, but it was fine, and we had a great trip. So we kept on going. We're going to go to the back of this cove, and the back of the cove was unbelievable. Trying to talk my dad into coming up next year and going fishing with me. I hope he will. So we're still heading to the back of the cove, and we ended up going, I think, uh, 40 miles on this trip, and it only took less than six gallons of gas to do it. Waterfalls everywhere. Everywhere you turn, there's a waterfall. But 
we were back in this cove and the fish were just jumping like crazy. I mean, there were just schools of thousands of fish and they were getting ready to go up the river. Um, so we didn't have the right bait to catch these fish. And I'm, I think they might've been pinks and not the silvers and I'm not gonna fool around with the pink. I was there to catch silvers. Here's one of the waterfalls that, of many that we saw as we're going to the back of the cove. And now we're, we parked the boat and jumped out because when I tell you there was a lot of fish right here, it was unbelievable. And they're gonna head right up that river, probably um, when it's a full tide, they'll run up the river. So they're all sitting out, just piled up, jumping, eagles coming in, catching them. It was amazing. I just jumped out of the boat, went for a walk, went up the river. There was no fish swimming up the river yet. This, to me, would be a great place to bear hunt. So if you want to come come back and go bear hunting with me, let me know, because I'm thinking this is what would be the place to go. Um, especially this time of year, it's got to be full of bears. So we headed on back. We're, we're kind of trolling back towards the house now. Later in the afternoon, it started getting rough. The clouds are coming in, as you can see. We were planning on fishing the next day, but we got up and it was just pouring down the rain and, and I didn't want to catch pneumonia. Neither did Henry, so we packed it up and headed to the house. But I appreciate you watching our quick little fishing trip to Valdez, Alaska.